Welcome to Adobe After Effects CC. In this tutorial, we're going to basically uh, show how to compile images together. Uh, images that are basically rendered into animation from Maya. So here's an individual frame, uh, just to show you the model that I was working on, this uh, flying car here. Here's After Effects uh, CC, and what I'm going to do is first open up the images. So I'm going to double click in the project window here and uh, basically navigate to wherever those images are. In my case it's in the documents folder. Double click on Maya, double click on projects, and I have here flying cars project. And then in the images I have to scroll down and find the ones that I want that I just recently rendered. I've rendered several animations as you can see. And uh, the one I've been working on, let's see here, sort of a black and white uh, just a nice sort of gray render is the revolve car revolve but it should start with black and white it should start any second here right about there it is so just kind of have to move up a little bit what you want to do is click on the first frame and uh, this is a PNG sequence and uh, you want to make sure this little checkbox is selected by default it should be uh, once you click on one uh, After Effects is pretty smart kind of knows that hey this is sequence of images you want to bring in and then you just click on import and the load here and then you can drag it to the stage here so drag it to the composition to create a new composition once that's done I can zoom out a little bit and then tap the space bar and that'll start caching the frames and now we can see the pretty cool animation so let's see here as it spins around. It's a simple rotation, uh, but it's done at a very high, nice render. So uh, once it's cached, it'll basically run really smooth. And that looks pretty good. So it just repeats basically, as you can see there. Looks good. All right, so uh, all I gotta do now is determine, you know, if I want, you know, uh, I want to render this out is what I want to do. I just have to make sure I have that composition selected which is this guy here. Go to the composition settings down here and um, go down to add to render queue and that'll pop up the render queue here down at the bottom. There's basically a couple of tabs here you just gotta click on. The first one is best settings just click on the word and it'll open up this window which uh, is probably popping up on my other monitor. Yes it is. So I'm going to drag it over here and in here uh, we want best quality uh, resolution we want the full which is 28, 1280 by 720 for this particular render um, all these other ones uh, we could leave for default let's see we want uh, not work area only but length of comp and uh, we want to change the frame rate so by default um, After Effects uses 30 frames per second and uh, we we rendered this out in 24 so we want to use 24 frames like film and then uh, basically click OK at that point the next one is the lossless category I'm going to click on that again uh, the window is probably going to pop up my other display which it did so I'm just going to drag it over here under here I want to choose the format the type of um, video that I'm going to use I'm going to use a QuickTime so I'm just going to select that uh, for this example and then um, most of these options here I can leave alone, but under format options, it's already set, but I want to make sure I use the codec of H.264. I use that all the time, and that's a really excellent codec. You can change the quality setting here. Um, I'm pretty much going to leave this alone, though, and uh, just close out here. And then uh, anything else in here? We have no audio. So uh, we could have audio output off. There's no audio on there. And then just click OK. And then the last category here, click on here, is the title of the movie. So I have this car revolve BK. Uh, and I'm going to have it saved at the desktop here. I'll just save it there. And then basically just, all I got to do is click on this render guy right here. Once I do that, it'll start to render and it doesn't usually take that long it's surprisingly fast uh, you'll see the timeline sort of dry across here it depends on the type of image you have and the resolution and how many different layers so if you had tons of layers in after effects it could take a long time to render but uh this is uh, one layer basically these images and you should hear a little ding at the end there that i just heard 
and so now I can uh, open up the QuickTime. So I'm, I'm going to pause here while I open that up. So here it is. I'll go ahead and hit play. And you can see here, as it's loading in, it's taking a little while here to play full screen, but there it is. And I can, of course, in the options here, I'll change the repeat. So you can see it here, play along. And uh, it just takes a little while for it to cash through. It's a little bit jerky. But overall, it looks pretty good. And uh, yeah. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to render out your image sequence into a QuickTime movie. Until next time, cheers.